Hi there, it's uh, Roy Breton here, hope you're doing well. On my thumbnail picture today I have the title How to Find a Perfect Domain Name. Now as we know websites have been out a few years now and maybe some of the best domain names um, appear to be gone or, or you just can't find the one you want. Well there's a way to brainstorm if you want to find domain names that can help um, maybe you've uh, maybe you found that domain name but, you, but it's not available but maybe you can find something similar but you just can't think of what you want so um, normally I would go to another website here um, where I would just put the domain na name in here and do a search so here um, I've got ChatGPT. This is ChatGPT4, but you can use 3.5. It'll basically give you the same answer. And I'm going to put this prompt into it, um, which reads, and you can use, I'll put this prompt in, in the video. Um, it, it reads, I would like to create a website of garden products and plants. I'm looking for a .co.uk domain. I don't want any abbreviations in the domain name. Are, are you able to give me some suggestions on finding a good name name please so obviously you may not want you may want a dot com or perhaps if it's a service business um, you may want it uh, related to your country if it covers a wider area perhaps a dot com um, or whatever your country um, domain name is uh, but that, I'm, I'm just for this experiment I'm using I've said dot co dot uk and uh, it, it will probably give you other domains or, or when we carry out a search we will see other domains that are available but also I've put um, I see lots of people putting in abbreviations in their domain name this is always bad because if you've got something uh, like take this website here this is roybrettononline.com but if I had roy dash Breton um, online.com and someone was looking for my website I told them about my website they would forget where the dash is and they would probably put Roy Breton online well my name's not particularly common unfortunately but um, you potentially you can send traffic to uh, someone else's website if, if you know what I mean uh, ra rather than your own so you are better to use uh, I always think no dashes abbreviations because people do not remember where the dashes are but if you got a straightforward website name which relates to, to your niche it's much better so let's come back to chat GPT and we're going to put this prompt in and uh, you can play around with this but um, I've actually already done it once It'll be interesting to see what the how how different it is from the from the other one that I carried out earlier It hasn't given me quite so many. It gave me 10, uh, 10 names. Um, it's given me gardenbounty.co.uk, plantparadise.co.uk, greenthumbgoods.co.uk, naturenets.co.uk, bloomingbasics.co.uk. But before we look for any of those, just let's see what it said. Um, and I'll tell you if I agree with it. Reflect your brand or niche. The name, the domain name should ideally represent your business or the niche of the garden products and plants. Think of words that are relevant and appealing to your audience. Yeah, that, that is right. So you, you, although it doesn't actually make any difference what your domain is, it's good to have it related. So if it was about birds, you'd ideally want the word bird in. If it's about gardening, you'd ideally want the word garden and, and so forth. Don't have it on gardens with a title like railway trains because it doesn't make sense um, so kind of common common sense a factor um, easy to remember and spell yes I agree with that yes as I said earlier avoid hyphens and numbers uh, use keywords which is basically what the first one is if we're talking about gardening um, that, that that that's although it doesn't help but it's not as important as it used to be uh, check for trademark or copyright issues just make sure there's no copyright infringements or anything um, 
use online domain name generators these call tools can provide you with creative ideas based on your input keywords I don't normally bother I think ChatGPT almost does it uh, obviously check availability which we'll look at in a minute um, choose, consider future expansion choose a name that is flexible enough to accommodate potential future expansion of your, of your business um, don't know what to say about that to be fair um, because I would always stick with the same domain name um, and uh, try and keep to one one website if it's on that subject um, so I don't think that's particularly relevant really uh, get feedback share your top choices with friends family or potential customers to get their feedback yep it's not a bad idea always good always good to have second opinion a second opinion and what have you so um but at the end of the day it comes down to you but just the main thing is that it's related to, to what um to what your domain is on my, on the other um on my previous search i got more names as i said um a bit more than this so, so naturenest.co.uk doesn't particularly um relate to garden Bl blooming basics yes um, as in blooms garden bounty plant paradise so let's just try one of these out and I don't know if it's available it may not be um, so let's go here and search and yeah that, that one that one is available um, but you can see how it gives you ideas and like I said um, it's only give me five ideas but you can always repeat the process and it'll give you more ideas and also if you try and hear um, let's just put let's put gardening gardening.co.uk no idea what this will bring up I should imagine it's probably taken another one guy uh, green garden thumb um, it's probably from a previous search I've done so I'm gonna get rid of that page and um, let's put that up again so let's look for gardening dot okay So, as I thought it would probably be, it's it's taken. Um, but they do they do give you other ones. Uh, so like it's giving you gardening for life, gardening pro. Personally, if you want to, I'm not too keen on all these other ones because uh, you know like .co .me or .uk. Yes, they work, but I would go with what your country sort of code is if you like. With like we are traditionally .co .uk. Or as I said earlier, if it's worldwide, I would go with a dot com. But um, you can see, you can also um, I'll leave the the address of this website. So you can also search for other domain names. But ChatGPT is um, a good, great idea for suggestions and what have you, and to help you brainstorm. I'm not a great lover of AI, but it does have its uses, and you need to use it with care because it doesn't always give the right answers but um, so it could certainly certainly for brainstorming it can be good so if you've got any questions on this video please feel free to comment i'm here to help thanks very much for watching